So you want to be a cruise ship musician? Why would you ever want to do that? Okay, maybe you'll travel the world, meet new amazing people, earn and save money, and gain some amazing fans. So I see why that might appeal to you. So I wanted to share five tips on working on cruise ships as a musician. But first, I make videos every week on YouTube, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Okay, let's do this. So let's do this in chronological order, okay? Getting you the job first. Tip number one is that all cruise ship musician jobs go through agencies. So they're gonna want a little bio, a link to like a YouTube promo reel where you're gonna do about 10 songs, 30 seconds of 10 songs, pick popular ones, and also try to include a couple songs where you're doing it in front of a crowd. Uh, that way they can show kind of interaction with that. Here's an example of my ship audition back in 2009. In the midst of morning Yeah, it's embarrassing to look back on. And then they're also gonna want a list of at least 200 songs so that you're ready to go and play. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I only knew about 50 songs, but I picked 150 that I knew I could learn while I'm on the ship because you will have that free time. And now I know over 2,000 songs. So, good luck with your application. Let's move on. So my next tip would be to take your first contract offered to you. You might wanna work in the Mediterranean and they offer you the Caribbean. Take that one, because they're just trying to fill in positions. Once you get into that position, you can kind of negotiate where you want to go next, and they can be looking for that as you're working. So take that first contract. Awesome. So you got your first contract, four to six months, and you're trying to pack anything and everything. Keep in mind that all the home ports, there's always going to be places to shop and get clothes or toiletries. Also, you can buy things online and the ship has an address that you can have things shipped to or your family can ship things to it as well. But after all of that, make sure you get a lot of good rest before your first day because that travel day to the ship is going to be exhausting. I remember I was so excited, I stayed up all night and then I got to the airport and I almost missed my flight. I literally fell asleep at the airport and woke up just in time to get to the gate before they closed it. And when you get to the ship, it's like boat drills and inductions, it's full on, and then you have to play that night. So you make sure you have good rest, otherwise you're not gonna feel very good that first day. So my next tip is to have CDs to sell, because they will sell, and cruisers love to take that home with them, and they'll probably keep it in their CD player for the next five years. Oddly enough, you think that CDs are outdated, maybe USBs or download cards, no, it's CDs, they're still good. Another little fun tip in this is that you need to have someone in the back selling it for you. So when I met Emma, I had her sitting in the back for the last two days of the cruise selling CDs for me while I was performing. And that helped out so much. And all she asked for is like a nice little date in Sydney, the home port. And I took her on it and now we're married. So another tip is to have a good attitude about it. You always have to remember that it's a job. Right guys? Yeah. <laughs> you might not be playing in the most ideal conditions. But it's your job and you have to do it if you're asked to do it. Otherwise, you could be working at a cubicle for eight hours a day. Yeah, I, I believe you have my stapler. Or you could be having this as your office. Yeah. So if you're considering doing this job, send me an email, I put it down in the description. It's a life-changing experience and really it'll set you up for a more adventurous yet stable future. So if there's anything else to add, I just want to say enjoy your contract and make the most of it all. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And just so you know, I don't get paid to make these videos. I just want to share my experiences and leave something valuable for you guys watching. So, see you next time. I'm actually going to go start my show. So I'm here on another cruise ship and it's still Tiptober. No, 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 we're not calling it Tiptober. Sorry. Thank you.